What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of Attack once again, and I'm just grabbing some lunch here real quick and saw that we have a leak or pretty much an announcement now for a new NO3D cryptocurrency mining GPU. It in particular is going to be on the P102. Uh, it's going to be a P102-100. It's going to have some cut down specs here compared to the 1080 Ti. Essentially it's a 1080 Ti Lite is what people are calling it. It has 3200 CUDA cores as opposed to the 3840 that you would typically see on a 1080 Ti and the base clock is cut down to 1582 megahertz where on a 1080 Ti you're going to be way closer to that 1900 megahertz. It still has the memory clock of 11 gigabits per second however it only has uh, 5 gigabytes of this particular memory on board so it also cut down the amount of memory you're going to see as opposed to what you would see on a 1080 Ti. The bus width is going to be 320 bit and the bandwidth is going to be 400 gigabits per second. You are looking at a PCIe Gen 1 by 4 bus support so you're not going to get any PCI 3 here and the card size is going to be 21 and a half centimeters long, 12 and a half centimeters high and it's going to take up two slots so that's kind of what we're looking at. The max uh, TDP is going to be still 250 watts and you're going to need two PCIe by eight additional powers for this particular card. Now here's where things get interesting and I kind of had the concern as soon as I saw that we were getting a cut in CUDA cores and a cut in base clock the hash rates or projected hash rates are very very good for Ethereum. This card's definitely designed around Ethereum in particular with none others taken into concern and you're looking at 47 mega hash a second. Now there's probably some tweaks and overclocks we can do to get that a little bit better on the memory side but where the story gets bad is when you start looking at things like Zcash. So on Zcash you're only looking at 660 solutions a second which already at stock from a 1080 Ti is taking you down about what is that 60 solutions a second now with some overclocks maybe it gets better but because of the cut down in the amount of CUDA cores that's just going to be less performing than it would be on a 1080 Ti then they also did release a hash rate for XMR at 879 hash a second which is going to be nothing compared to an RX 56 or RX 64. So if you're still looking at that, go that route. However, now with the new ASICs miners for XMR or pretty much Crypto Knight in general, unfortunately, even the RX 56 and the RX 64 are going to be phased out here pretty quick as far as that algorithm goes. And so I'm going to say avoid it. Now I think you see the issue here with this particular card. If you're looking at buying it for mining, it's a one trick pony. You're gonna be looking at only being able to mine Ethereum, which is quite a big issue if you consider the fact that a lot of the ways you can keep some of your older equipment relevant is by moving and switching between algos. The reason the 1080 Ti was so attractive is that it did perform well in a whole bunch of different types of algorithms. So if you're only gonna be able to be stuck on ET hash with this particular card it's going to be a hard sell to a lot of miners unless the price comes in significantly lower than the 1080 Ti. While I think it'll come in lower we just need to know how much cheaper it's going to be and if an ASIC solution comes out for Ethereum and its counterparts and other you know coins that are based on that algorithm you're it's just not going to be a good idea you're going to be stuck you're going to have a zcash an underperforming you know zcash or equihash card here and crypto nights out so we're gonna have to look and see you know what ends up happening with lira 2 rev 2 and some of these other algorithms out there Phi, of course, Raven, and so on. Hope this video was informative. Let me know what you think of this card in the comment section below, and I'll see you next Tuesday.